I'm Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com, and in this video, we're going to share some valuable information about this NVMe M.2 3.5-inch adapter that we purchased as an upgrade for a Precision 7920 workstation. This video might also be helpful to you if you have a Precision 5820 or 7820 workstation because those systems use the same exact NVMe 3.5-inch adapter. We'll share some of the problems that we had during the install process and how we solved them. And then at the end of the video, we'll share some benchmark results. This is a three and a half inch NVMe M.2 solid state drive adapter for a precision 5820, 7820 or 7920 workstation. We purchased this adapter for a Precision 7920 that did not originally ship with an NVMe M.2 solid state drive installed. When we went to load our operating system, we could not find this solid state drive as a bootable device in Windows 10. We also couldn't see the solid state drive in the F2 setup or in post. In an attempt to figure out a solution, we purchased another Precision 7920 that originally shipped with an NVMe M.2 solid state drive already installed. Our plan was to look at the SAS connections to see why NVMe works on this system. First, we had to gain access to our 4x3.5-inch drive bay by unlocking the front hard disk drive bezel. Once it was unlocked, we were able to push the lever down on the front of the system to open up the bezel. We were then able to gain access to our 4x3.5-inch hard drive slots. As you can see, it's very easy to remove the standard 3.5 inch drive trays. We initially had trouble trying to remove the NVMe 3.5 inch adapter tray. To remove the 3.5 inch adapter tray, we had to push a paper clip in the small hole in the front of the tray, while at the same time squeezing the levers on the front of the tray to release it from the back plane. From this angle, we could see the drives zero and one had a backplane instead of just a regular cable harness. We ended up removing the non-quick release side panel to gain access to the drive backplane on our 7920. This is when we figured out that this 7920 had a completely different backplane and cable harness compared to our other 7920. This system has the NVMe backplane kit installed for drive slots 0 and 1. Here's a close up of the NVMe SAS connections to the motherboard. These connections opened the door to running NVMe RAID connections with add on Mega RAID controllers that we hope to do in future videos. But with this current configuration, we can just use them as individual drives. We then removed the NVMe backplane kit for drive slots 0 and 1 to show you the part numbers of the components. As always, we'll also post the part numbers on our Precision 7920 hardware upgrade guide. The link is posted in the description of this video. Here's a close up look at the NVMe backplane kit for slots 0 and 1. Some of you may be wondering if this kit will also work with drive slots 2 and 3. The backplane is the same, however the SAS cables are too short to reach the motherboard connections. We'll share the part numbers of the SAS cables for slots 2 and 3 on our 7920 hardware upgrade guide when they become available to us.
Here's a quick tutorial on how to access the NVMe M.2 solid state drive in the Dell 3.5 inch NVMe FlexPay adapter. The NVMe backplane kits can be very expensive and hard to find in the aftermarket. There are other options available like this aftermarket NVMe M.2 PCIe adapter. You can pick them up for under $30 and they still have fantastic throughput. We ran an Addo disc benchmark to compare the speeds of the Dell 3.5 inch NVMe adapter versus the PCIe adapter. As you can see the Dell 3.5 inch adapter outperformed the PCIe adapter. Although the PCIe adapter is still a viable alternative if your system did not originally ship from Dell with the NVMe backlink kit installed. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.